everybody, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with the Liquid Fire Fishing Team in Cape Carteret, North Carolina. I'm here with Logan Mason, the Service and Parts Director at Performance East in Cedar Point, North Carolina. They're just a hop, skip, and a jump from my house right here. Recently, I changed from the 400 L6 motors in Mercury to the brand new V10 400s, and met Logan and his team assisted and took care of all of that transformation on our new Andros Offshore 32. So talk to me a little bit, Logan, about what you guys had to do, how it transpired, and what you learned from the experience. Certainly, so Mercury definitely added quite a bit to the new V10s, um, pulled the old engines off, put the new engines on, had to change the fuel line size, pickups, valves, all of that. Had to add rig centers, um, bigger battery size wiring. So really went through the whole entire system, um, got everything re-rigged, plumbed, calibrated, took it on a sea trial the other day and everything worked out. Yeah, man. It was an awesome ride. It was, you know, it's exciting. There was quite a bit to do when you upgrade like that. This is a brand new boat. We put the L6s on it. Reason being, there was a time frame thing and from the pro staff standpoint, they weren't available when the new Andros was being built. They became available just at the end of it. So we wanted to transition this boat to that new V10 power right here. And some of the things that you talked about, it's a lot. But it I'm going to tell you something, on the initial sea trial, Joshua went out with you, you guys, Mike, the technician who took care of it, um, you know, Seth was hugely involved in this, all of you guys uh, in the parts department with Darren and all the guys, but long and short of it, it made an amazing difference in this boat. And um, I, I couldn't be more pleased. We'll talk to you in just a second about some of the numbers, which I know you guys are going to want to know because I got a lot of people reaching out to me about it. But what are your thoughts on the performance of the, of the motors? I think the performance of the motors are a lot better than the L6s. I mean, they really woke this boat up, um, got on plane a whole lot faster, a whole shot. They were so quiet. Yeah. Didn't even know they were running back there. It was awesome, to be honest with you. Uh, definitely a uh, very noticeable difference but um, I definitely think it is worth switching to the V10s especially in the long run. Well I tell you when we first took delivery of the boat it performed well with the L6 400s. Top end with one person light on fuel is about 60 miles an hour um, and then loaded it run it run about 56 and a half 57. The fuel economy at wide open throttle was 0.7. Folks I'm gonna tell you something these not even being completely broke in, you can just run it for you know 30 seconds or something at wide open. But Joshua, with five people, three quarters fuel in this thing, which it holds 300 gallons of fuel, so it was really it was heavy and it ran 62.9. So once it gets broken in, I'm expecting you know light is probably a 64, 65 mile an hour boat. So yes, sir. I think it's at least five miles an hour difference. And then the fuel economy at cruise, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Joshua told me at about 3,800 RPMs, running right at 41 uh, miles per hour, it was getting like 1.3, 1.4. Yep. So I gotta tell you, for 800 horses, a V10 motor, I couldn't be more pleased with what it does for this platform. It's amazingly rugged and robust boat and the ride is incredible. The 32 offshore from Andros is just as good a riding boat as we've ever had in this type of platform which is about 33 feet long and almost 10, 10 feet wide. Um, I, I gotta tell you, if that's the performance we're gonna get, it's only gonna get better. Folks, it is absolutely worth the time. You guys had, it's probably what, really about a, it needs to be about a week uh, in I'd the say shop so. or so once Usually all about the, a week, week and a half. Definitely like to take a slow process on everything. Just make sure everything is ironed out and done correctly. Well, I got to tell you, when I went in, you guys, Mike, and you guys just did a great job with putting everything back together. I know there was quite a bit to do. You know, more <clears throat> more uh, backing plates that Lavorsi Marine uh, supplied. There's a lot more involved with the hoses. Like you said, the fuel hose is much larger. And, uh, but I'm gonna tell you something, it looks absolutely factory. I went up in there and it just absolutely looks, you guys just did an amazing job. Appreciate that. Folks, these folks at Performance East in Cedar Point, they've done a lot of work for us, maintenance, done some things that just really, really impress me as a customer. And as a partner with you guys, Logan, I couldn't be more appreciative with what you guys do. You're always accommodating. 
Folks, if you're gonna change out motors, you need somebody to service your motors. If you're within a 100 mile radius of this, guys, I promise you, you're gonna enjoy working with this team. Logan and his team, Seth, all the guys there just do a tremendous job. And Joe, on the camera, I appreciate all your support, buddy, and all your help. And, uh, you know, I just couldn't be more thankful and more appreciative of what you guys do. I appreciate that. We're always here to help out anybody that needs it. All right, brother. I appreciate it very yes, much. Sir. Folks, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with the Liquid Fire Fishing Team in Cape Carteret, North Carolina, coming to you from my home because these guys came over and wanted to check on the boat. We got another couple of hours to put on it. I'll bring you more information as it comes. Feel free to reach out to me on our social media platforms with Liquid Fire Fishing or Troll the Edge. I know Performance East has social media, Instagram, Facebook. We all got YouTube channels. Go check it out. I guarantee you, you're gonna love this product from Mercury Marine, the Andros Offshore 32, and absolutely Performance East in Cedar Point. Folks, we'll see you soon. I'm Captain Mark Henderson with the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. Y'all have a great day. See you on the water.